Hey guys, I'm coming to you once again with a product um, review, like I promised last time, and we're gonna be talking about the Pure, oh, Pure, I think it's just Pure, Camo Contour um, Dual Ended Contour Foundation Stick. That is a mouthful. Um, so this is the box it comes in. I showed it to you in the last video, but I've had, I was able to use it for a week um, to tell you basically how I like it. Um, the packaging looks like this, very nice. And inside the box, it also comes with a sponge, as you can see, which is dirty. Sorry about that, I used it again today to talk about it. And I've been using it consistently for, um, for like I said, about a week. And, it also comes with the instructions on how to contour and use your sponge and all that good stuff. So the guide is nice. Um, and there's one on the back. So I'll get into it. Um, this is a handheld thing, so I'm sorry if you see me kind of moving around because I do need to kind of move the camera around my face. Um, um, the color I got was in dark. They have um, a light, medium, tan, deep um the dark is a step above the deep because the deep is really dark and it's a little too red for my skin tone even this one is kind of this dark is a nice kind of neutral and i'll just show it to you you can kind of see it on both sides of my face these are how it swatches and um as far as the highlight i like quite a natural highlight so that the highlight color on the stick blends in quite nice and that's how the contour color looks and as you can see it's not too red um not gonna lie i do tend to go press into it just a little too hard so i'm still kind of working with that and i'll show you just how it looks so and you know you roll it up well screw it up whatever you want to call roll screw y'all know what i'm trying to say so <laughs> you twist it up that's the best word for it. Twist up on both ends. For convenience. So this is something nice to do if you just want to pack. Um, something you can do your whole face in real quick. Because you can use it as a foundation. And as far as the finish, it is kind of a semi-matte to matte. Depending on how you kind of use it. Well, I would say semi-matte is what my experience is so far um so yeah it doesn't but it's not too dry so that's nice too um as far as the cost this stick runs about um 40 bucks it's 39.95 so 40 dollars um and some change and for this, for what it does, it's quite nice. I'm sure you can find a cheaper alternative to it. The cheapest thing I can kind of think of it having is um, the NYX has a contour um, pencil highlight and contour um, pen like this. Um, but I don't really like it as far as their darker ones they are a little too red too warm and then if you try to go down it's a little too cool so i'm a little in between and that's not really good um to me especially like it's winter so i'm kind of on my lighter end so what is it gonna look like in the summer and you know i've seen now other um black girls and they look really nice and but i just wondered if that was the only product they used with it so for me using this and it's blendable even though it is matte so you do have to kind of buff it in a little harder in my opinion but you may not want to do all that if you want a more dramatic contour um as far as this sponge it's okay and i mean this is i haven't used it every time i've just used a, a brush and kind of buffed in the product um you know just a cheap one like the powder brush from elf it's all always a good buff in brush even though it's you know their powder brush this from the studio collection of black handle great need to go get some more um and but yeah this sponge even though it has this that does help kind of get under the eyes right there and i use the kind of back end to do to buffing my contour like that so 
but I didn't see any difference between it um between it and a, my beauty blender I prefer my beauty blender um it seems a little more porous to me I still you know I treat it the same way you soak it um or you know get it good and wet and then wring all the water out so you don't um soak up a bunch of product so I didn't see too much of a difference with it and I didn't so it's but I mean it came with it so it's not like you're paying anything extra but if you already have a sponge it's just like those drugstore sponges which not all drugstore sponges are bad but y'all know what I'm talking about like it's too kind of dense almost like it doesn't do it's not it's best best self I guess I would say and you've seen other incarnations of beauty sponges and things like that and that's just not one of them so um yeah you get quite a bit of product it's um 0.3 ounces for both ends um you you're gonna had to use a lot to go through it quick and you just really don't it's very pigmented it looks very nice and it does come in a lot of color varieties i got mine from ulta but they also um sell it at kohl's and uh, of course you know on purist's website so there's other places where you can get it and you can always get it kind of on sale even though it retails for 39.95 i ended up getting mine with a 20% off and another coupon that I found. So that was nice. And I used my Ebates. So I'm going to get money back too for that purchase. So I really liked it. Um, So yeah, that's my general consensus. I just want to know, have you guys ever used this? Um, Do you like it? What do you use to con um, contour and highlight with? Um, How do you compare it to other products? I know I like it because of its convenience and it kind of as far as formula it's a little you know more matte than say the foundation sticks from black opal that's i've used that to contour with really quickly so yeah there um it might feel like a little chalky when you first use it but overall it's a good product i like it i'll keep on using it until i can't use it anymore and that is pretty much it sorry if i'm talking too fast too many others i'm trying to improve on myself still having a bit of lighting issues i hope this looks good hopefully y'all have a good rest for us today hopefully y'all can get into these colors and y'all remember that nessie loves you bye